Uh, my name is Latrell Harris. I'm coming from an institution called Hampton University. It's an HBCU in Virginia. And I started there and I finished at uh, another HBC in Atlanta named Morehouse College. Currently pursuing my doctorate in physics, I'm doing astroparticle physics research with Kirsten Tollefson. When I was an undergrad, I chose, I did all kinds of research from geophysics, atomic molecular physics, nuclear physics, and uh, ultimately I came here uh, to work with a professor who was my department chair at Hampton uh, named Dr. Paul Gay. Um, and I started doing research with him, and then I realized, okay, like I love this guy, but you know, the research isn't really my cup of tea. Um, and I was able to then uh, find Kirsten, who is my research advisor now, and that's when I really realized that, oh, I actually really like and am very interested in dark matter. Uh, so now I'm, a I'm able to use um, uh, my research skills right now to look for dark matter in our universe. And people are like, oh, I saw that on YouTube, you know, what is dark matter? And that's the question we're still trying to answer, you know, what is dark matter, right? We can't detect it. Um, and it, dark energy and dark matter makes up 95% of our universe. Uh, so we can't at this moment detect 95% of our universe, right? So I'm working uh, with a, a collaboration called the Hawk Collaboration to uh, use high energy gamma rays to uh, pin back, uh, point back to sources in our universe. Um, and some of the sources are dark matter candidate sources. So if we can constrain what uh, dark matter could be in these sources, uh, we can have a better understanding of where to look uh, for 95% of our universe. So that can lead to you know, unexplainable um, uh, results in terms of applications in the future if and when we do find dark matter. But I definitely see myself working with uh, other students, um, providing opportunities from uh, students that are coming from backgrounds like my own. Um, and just, you know, uh, just giving people opportunities uh, to pursue a career that they never thought it was imaginable for them. You know, so that's kind of where my heart is. You know, I, I pour a lot into my mentorship, uh, into my uh, community service, um, because I feel like that's where the need is in my community. Um, so wherever I'm at in my career, uh, beyond graduate school, I see myself still fulfilling uh, that mission. Yeah, that first year of grad school, it's, it's a tough one, right? You know, it's a big adjustment from your undergrad, uh, your courses, you know, it's just a higher level of education. Um, so that's a lot of pressure. Um, and on top of that, uh, if you're being funded as a TA, right, or as an RA, a full-time research assistant, you know, you gotta do, you gotta work double time now, being a student in the classroom and also a, a researcher. Um, so the UDF, uh, gave me the ability to work at my own leisure, uh, meaning I was able to prioritize um, adjusting to grad school and uh, also getting to know my research uh, without the pressure of finding a group immediately or uh, you know just just contributing to some kind of experiment uh, you know off the ground. So uh, it kind of gave me that luxury of, of just being able to gradually uh, get adjusted to grad school at my own pace. Um, and because of that, I was able to thrive my first year and be successful in my second year. Yeah, if you can pursue this fellowship, uh, I highly, highly, highly suggest that you do so. Um, it is a, a benefit, it is a, an asset, and it's a luxury to have. Um, it can really make your graduate experience uh, more enjoyable. Um, it provides you with funding, it provides you with the opportunity, to, uh, your flexibility in your first year. Um, so yeah, it's going to definitely change the way that you uh, enter grad school. And that's a very important part, you know, how you start is how you finish. Shoot for the stars, you know, you're here, they've accepted you in, into a grad school program. Um, so don't take that lightly, like uh, you're here for a reason. Uh, so whatever it is that you wanna do in your research and your career, you know, tell somebody and pursue it and enjoy it. Because you can help people, uh, people like me, uh, people who are coming into this university uh, that didn't know what grad school was or that may need just additional help, right? Sometimes we just need help. Um, so you're giving students uh, coming from very diverse backgrounds the opportunity to play ball at a very, very high level. Um, so yeah, if you can support that, please, you never know who you're gonna help. You never know who is the next Einstein is gonna be that you could be supporting.